Speak Student. The Mahabharata, Alashma. The Mahabharata is the world's longest epic poem, as well as an awesome tongue twister you can use to torture your younger siblings. Mahabharata bratwurst. Our challenge: to summarize this uber lengthy thousand page Sanskrit masterpiece in an incy wincy itty bitty video. Okay, ready? Here we go. All right. So there are these two families: the Karavas and the Pandavas. Get your kids' toys off my lawn. And they're fighting for the throne of Hastinapura. I was there first. I called dibs. It's like when you and your sister are fighting over bathroom time, except this throne had a little more at stake. The Karavas only hope for the throne. Ritarashtra is born blind, so he's out. No way he can be India's next ruler. Your Highness, you know that isn't your scepter, right? Yeah, there weren't a lot of discrimination lawsuits being filed in those days. So, because the Karavas couldn't provide a suitable candidate, the throne fell to Pandu of the Pandavas. Things go well for the family for a while. Until a couple generations later, when this Yudhishthira guy sits on the throne, he loses his entire kingdom in a dice game. Come on, Daddy needs a new pair of beaded sandals. You thought your uncle with the weekly poker game had a problem? The Pandavas are exiled for 13 years. Hit the road, Jack. But they eventually decide they've had enough of this exile business. They return so they can try to take back their kingdom, but the Karavas aren't having it. So naturally, the two families start a big old military conflict to settle matters. The great battle of Kurukshetra. You're going down, old man. It's here that we are introduced to the character of Krishna, who drives a chariot in the battle, and we'll soon find out he has a secret or two in his back pocket. The Pandavas ultimately win the battle, so they swoop in and announce that they're in charge. However, once the family is back in power, they begin examining their spirituality more than ever before. What's the reason for all the bloodshed? What are we doing here? Did I leave the kitchen light on? And they experience some pretty serious revelations. They ultimately decide they're going to renounce everything and retire to the Himalayas, sort of their、uh, Palm Beach. Things draw to a close with the death of Krishna, whom we learn is an incarnation of the Lord Vishnu. After they become aware of Krishna's divinity, the Pandava brothers all head up to heaven. Hope it's warmer than on this dang mountain. But things aren't looking so hot for everyone still on planet Earth. As the epic poem ends, humankind enters its final age, and in typical epic fashion, once the hero is out of the picture, everything pretty much goes down the toilet. Oops! Did I do that? Okay. That's Mahabharata in a nutshell. If you plan to read the entire thing, hope you're hungry for a very large nut. Mahabharata bratwurst. Subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, we recommend you watch our video, How to Find the Subscribe Button.